Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Net present value. Uh, this is uh, one of the capital budgeting technique, uh, which is used for evaluation of the projects or the investment, and it shows the profitability of the project in terms of amount. And based on that, we can decide whether the project to be accepted or the project to be rejected. Or even if we have uh, several projects in our hand, then based on this method, we can decide which project is the best. Any project which gives more profitability for us, so we, then we will select that one, right? So if you have several projects, it means more than one. So through this method, you can decide whether A project is good, B project is good, or C one is good. But first of all, let us have a simple definition for this technique and the formula, and then we will have several examples in the coming videos. First of all, what is the definition of this one? Net present value is the difference between the total present value of future cash inflow and the total present value of future cash outflow. If you write down this definition in the form of a mathematical way, so you can say NPV or net present value is equal to the total present value of inflow minus the total present value of outflow. It means, first of all, you have to take the present value of all inflow. Inflow from the project means the revenue which you receive. Suppose for how many years you may receive, it depends on each project. Suppose you receive inflow for year 1, year 2, year 3, year 4, and so on. So first of all, you have to take the present value of all these inflows. And after that, take the present value of all outflows. Then, from the present value of all inflow, you have to minus the present value of all outflow, right? So, from present value of inflow minus present value of outflow, whatever is the result, the result can be called as what? As an NPV. And, of course, the result is in the form of the amount. The amount can be positive or the amount can be negative. Then, we will decide based on that one. If you write down this definition in a better way, in the form of a formula, you can say like this. And instead of this, this simple text, you can write down the formula like this one. N PV or net present value is equal to, as I said before, total present value of inflow. So in order to take the present value of inflow, so you can write on this formula itself, right? What is the formula? This one. C1 divided by 1 plus R plus R in the power of 1, plus C2 divided by 1 plus R in the power of 2, C3 divided by 1 plus R in the power of 3, and so on, up to Cn divided by 1 plus R in the power of N. In this formula, C means the inflow, inflow from the project. If inflow is in the year 1, end of year 1, I mean, then that one should be discounted for one year. What is R? R means the discount rate, R means the cost of capital, hurdle rate, interest rate, whatever you can call, it is that one. Sometime instead of R, you can write down I as well, right? So this is simply, we can say the discount rate. So if you receive the inflow or income at the end of year one, so you have to discount it for one year. If you receive income at the end of the second year, you have to discount it for the second year, for two years. If you receive inflow at the end of the third year, so you have to discount it for three years. And so on, if you receive income at the end of n year, so you have to discount it for n year, right? Then the result of this one will show the present value of inflow, the total present value of inflow. After this inflow, so you have to minus the total present value of all outflow. Outflow will get a start from zero, but remember inflow starts from one. Outflow will get a start from 0. C0 divided by 1 plus R in the power of 0. Why this is 0? Because this is the initial investment. What investment? Initial investment. The initial investment which you made in the project at the beginning of the year, basically for that one, we don't need to give discount. Why? Because that is the present itself. For rest of the case, we want to convert it into the present. But initial year or beginning of the year or initial life of the project which we made the investment or the original amount of investment which we made in the project, basically that is in the initial time and the beginning time, so no need for discount, that itself is the present. But after that, if you made some sort of investment, some sort of additional investment in this project, suppose you made some additional investment in this project at the end of year one, right? 
So you have to discount it for one year. If you made at the end of year two, you have to discount it for two years. If you made at the end of any year, for example, you have to discount it for any year, right? So remember one case that the initial investment does not require basically this sort of discounting. So no need for discounting of the first year itself. Then, so this one basically will show our total present value of outflow. So from total present value of inflow, which you can find out through this formula, you have to minus the total present value of outflow, which you can find out through this formula, right? Then based on this one, the result is either positive or the result, e result is either negative. So based on that one, you can decide. This is called decision rules. What are the decision rules? Basically, we have two decision rules. If NPV is greater than zero, it means in this case, you can accept the project. If NPV, second option, NPV is less than zero, in this case, the project should be rejected. Why it should be rejected? Because why first of all why it should be accepted if NPV is greater than zero it means the inflow of the project is greater than outflow of the project it means revenue of the project is greater than expenses of the project so it means there's a profit but on the second case if the NPV is less than zero it means the outflow or the cost of the project is more than the revenue of the project so definitely the project should be rejected right but one more thing you have to uh, Take care in the case of mutually exclusive project. In the case of mutually exclusive project, select the one with higher NPV. Mutual exclusive projects are those projects that you have to accept only one of them. Suppose we have two projects, project A as well as, for example, project B, right? So there is no sufficient fund in the business that we have to select both of them. So based on the information you have to provide for both of these projects, then decide which one, either A or B. In this case, make or find out their NPV, find out their NPV. Any NPV which is greater, that one basically should be selected. NPV, right? If NPV of A is greater, A should be selected. If NPV of B is greater, then B should be selected, right? So this is the case. So once again, what is NPV? Basically, it is the total present value of inflow minus total present value of outflow. And this is one of the capital budgeting techniques, which is used to show the profitability. If it is greater than one, you should accept. If it is lesser than one, you should reject it. But if a project is a mutually exclusive, on that case, any in PV which is greater, that should be rejected. Right? Thank you so much.